Welcome back to your Caribou Data Science channel. What is it, Spain? Is it Spain today or is it uh, somebody else? I can't remember who's next. I'm sorry. Well, welcome back to your Caribou Data Science channel, Brazil. Today is, uh, well, today is uh, Monday, July 26, 2021. And a big shout out to. Uh, The four people have viewed this video from Brazil yesterday. Thank you so much for that view yesterday, folks. Before we get started, I have a I have a question for you. But first, before we get started, let's, I got a couple of requests to ask. First of all, click on that share button. Share the video on your Facebook and your Twitter accounts. You can also copy and paste the link into a text message, email, and send it and share it with your friends and family that way. All right. Now, before we get started, I have a question to ask you for you to consider. What happens if COVID-19 never goes away? How many deaths are going to be acceptable per year from COVID-19 if it never goes away, okay? Let's come over here now and take a look at the numbers for Brazil. You can see currently uh, Brazil, you have 19.68 million uh, cases. Nineteen point six eight million cases, five hundred forty nine thousand deaths. So what we can see here is we can see the distribution of the cases, daily cases. This is 725, and 725 we had 18,129 cases. For the seven day period ending 716th, we were averaging, what, 41,889 cases. Okay? Deaths, once again, for 725 yesterday, you, you had 476 deaths. For the seven day period ending 716, you were averaging 1,196 deaths per day. Here you can see this kind of stair-step pattern. Uh, last week's cases were up from the previous three weeks. Okay, cases. But look at this nice declining pattern in deaths. You know, and I, I don't. We need. We always need to remind ourselves of one thing. That is the, that. That is what Washington University Institute for Health Metrics and Education says about pandemics. They say the single best measure of the spread of a disease is daily deaths, okay? So don't be misled about all the talk of cases and hospital beds. Diseases, whether it's heart disease or, 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 or cancer of some type, are measured by deaths. And they're not only they're measured by deaths, but they're measured one year at a time. You don't see, well, you know, we had X number of we had 500,000 uh, cancer deaths since January 1st of 2020. Yeah. We only measure, we only measure uh, COVID-19. We should only be measuring COVID-19 deaths a year at a time, which means on January 1st, 2021, the count, the count are set back to zero. Okay? Don't be misled by all the talk of total number of cases and deaths. Okay? Be careful. Because here, here's here's where the new year started, and you did see a spike up from the new year, but now now you're seeing this decline, okay? For deaths, monthly deaths, you know what? Well, you know, June was the second most deaths uh, since uh, back over here. It looks like uh, I'm sorry, cases. It looks like July cases will finish below these numbers right here. Deaths, one, two, three, go off. Uh, this is the good news, uh, Australia. You're gonna have July is gonna be the third. It's gonna be a third. Uh, it's gonna be the third straight month when you had a decline in COVID-19 deaths in Australia, and and that's the good news for you folks today. Okay, and that's what I want you to understand. You know. You know, some people have said, well, the vaccine doesn't keep you from getting COVID-19. It just keeps you from dying from COVID-19. 
Okay, so keep that in mind also. But if that's the case, then that means we're going to, we're going to continue to see an increase in cases. But we're going to see a, dec a decline in deaths as a result of these cases. Okay. So anyway, thanks so much for stopping by today. Again, thanks so much to the uh, four people who viewed the video yesterday. Of course, you got my favorite ask. First of all, hey, click that subscribe button. Secondly, click that uh, click the uh, click the uh, share button. Share the video on Facebook and Twitter. You can also, of course, click on the on the share button, copy and paste the link to the video into an email or text message, and share it with your friends and family that way. Thanks so much for your time, Brazil. We'll catch you tomorrow as an updated report.